Did, I, did you just run from me? Stop it, Craig. This ain't even him. It's no secret that what cops do best is putting cuffs on, but sometimes they mess up. These next few cases will show you how cops mistakenly cuff the wrong people. On March 12, 2023, Erie SWAT team, Pennsylvania State Police, and U.S. Marshals decided that they would test the limits of the power they were given in order to protect the people. Instead, what we have are these specimens bothering Lance Thronton, an old man suffering from dementia. Not gonna be, we're not here for you. Then I'm being told to put my phone down. I, have, I was told I had a right to pull it. That is my rental car. Okay, your rental? Yes. You got a picture of him? Yes. What is going? You're not allowed inside. I want to know what's going on. I'm tell you what's going on. Okay. Then you tell me right now. Relax. No, this is my house. You no, you're gonna. Talk to you right you're now. No. That's who we're looking for. He in your house right is now. Is he in your house right now? No, there's nobody in my house. Wanted for attempted homicide, three officers. Okay, so that's why we're here. You guys. We're not here for anything else. We're here for that. That's okay. It. You got my word. All right. Can we go in and look to make sure he's not in there? Okay, here's... What? Just, you, go ahead. Yeah, whatever you're going to say. You don't want to put yourself in the jackpot. If he's in there, this is... No, I swear to you right now. Okay, time. right now. So starting off with obstructing Lance's First Amendment right and threatening him to stop filming was not a good idea. This guy's a warrant for attempted homicide three officers. Okay, a tip came in and this guy is staying at your house. You understand? Over the, over the weekend. Who are you guys with? U.S. Marshals, US Marshal. EPD SWAT. What's PSP? EPD? Police? Police okay, okay, keep going. And PSP. What's PSP? Pennsylvania State Police. Okay, I'm shaking right now. Right now, if this is true, what you're telling me, yes, I give you full permission, full run of my house. Do you know this guy, sir? I already answered that I, question. I that. Asked and answered. But here's the thing: there's a reason why this call, this tip was called into the marshals. Okay, there's a connection between you and this guy. Now, it might not be directly. Then they try to show the power and authority they hold by talking down to Lance and nearly destroying his front door. Susan Maluli. Okay, do you have any connection with a, another female in this house? Is there another girl, woman that stays here? A girl? No. Nobody else? No. Okay, who's hoped to you? My daughter. Okay, where does she stay at? She lives in Washington, D.C. She's a, she's a, this is my daughter? We don't know, we don't okay? Know. Again, this is a tip that's called into from, from the, to the U.S. Marshals and PSP hotline, okay? Saying that this guy is staying here at your house right now. This week, go inside, guys. Go inside. Well, we will in a second. We won't have to go to more than just two guys, but and this, and this is why, okay? That's why we're here with is, is, is the show force we are. This guy's tried shooting three cops last summer. You, who's fixing my door? Because you broke it the way you kicked it. it. It's not broken. The no, door? I saw the inside. The door? Yes, whoever was kicking that door when I was coming downstairs okay. peacefully, you had to hear my feet coming. Uh, Someone's paying for this, so go ahead, yeah. do do your thing. That's fine, okay. Uh, but again, you don't know this guy at all. He's ever been at this house. I do not know him. Okay, I what? Ask me a fifth time, and my answer's not going to change. Awesome. Okay. The truth does not change. No, so do I, your I, job because you have me so scared right now and so mad. That. I appreciate that. Then tried to show the power and authority they hold by talking down to Lance and nearly destroying his front door. After he was entirely spooked, they decide to perform an unwarranted search. Great job as per usual. Do you guys have a, a warrant, by the way? Homicide warrant, homicide warrant, yes. No, do you have a warrant from a house? I'm just asking no, so you, I know. No, no, you don't have a search warrant for your house. You, you do not have a... You gave us consent to get I'm giving you consent, but I can withdraw it at any time, right? You don't have a search warrant for your Because I'm scared right now. You are not taking anything in your house. You don't want anything in your house, but just an individual. Yep. Just go up. Holy shit. Ambulances, a SWAT truck, lots of cars, and a rude ass officer. Lance tries to take account of the situation and begins to calm himself down, which is a little hard for him as he's very annoyed by the dozens of officers in his home. Just getting your permission to walk into my house. I can re I can withdraw it right now. So you I tell me now where I'm, I withdraw it. I'm gonna draw so, this consent. So Sirs, get out of my house. Here, I'm withdrawing consent. 
I am withdrawing consent. Do you now hear it? You're on camera. They're still moving forward. Do you, under, do, you want, do you want to understand? So there's a tip called in that Mr. Jones was here at your residence. Okay. They're still going in. I, I withdrew my consent. You guys even knew I could do it. They're still you searching. I, I already called them out. Okay. Because you won't tell me the truth. I just told you. Here's the thing. You can't go back and forth saying you let us in, you don't let us in. I said, can I withdraw okay. consent? And you said yes. yes on camera. Yes, you can. Yes. And I did I not just okay. withdraw it. Even after clearly stating that Lance was in control of when he would like the unwarranted search to end, they once again squander his rights. If this is how they act on their own words, God only knows how they bully other people. I need everybody's badge number as a... Can I have your badge number, sir? 393. What's your name? Sir, what's your name? Badge number is 393. That's all you need. What, did you find him? Do you have any signs of him? And what's your name and badge number? Affirmative. What's your name? I was looking at the case. No, I, sir, I asked you for your badge number. Lance, obviously not happy with what had just happened to him this morning, asked for everyone's badge numbers. Even this, the officers don't seem to love to comply with. I mean, no, no one meant to disrespect you in any way, but when we're trying to get into, you know, knock on your door, and we're not getting an immediate response, and then, you, you know, you're... I get your shock, okay? I get. I, I told him I have dementia, okay? <clears throat> I'm 52 years old with early onset dementia, early and I'm confused, okay. okay? I asked him to stop the consent. I looked right here, and I called you guys and said I would draw consent. I get the stare down, can, and then no, let me, but, yeah, let me let me finish my part, okay? <clears throat> yes, I'll tell you why. What I did was I asked, I withdrew consent. Okay. After being asked, after being told, I can withdraw at any time. You continued in this house. It's on that security camera, this security right. camera, and the one right outside. Okay. okay. Yeah, also, you, went, let me finish. You, you do understand we're wanting a kept homicide, okay? I, so. No, I understand, but here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm, suing, I'm suing you guys. I withdrew consent and you continued. Because that guy right there, the one that just walked out, was a smart ass and, and would not let me talk. I was here, guys, I wanted to help you. I was confused. I told him, I have dementia. So you guys are just walking away. Destroying my house. Yeah, my front door. I was standing there when the door freaking just came off the wall. Now they're laughing at me. If all the previous grievances were not enough, the cops essentially talk him down some more and leave abruptly afterward giving out no apologies and having no remorse for ruining Lance's day and door. It is worth noting that due to his predisposed conditions and the treatment of this rude horde of unwelcome visitors, he suffered a stroke later in the day, only worsening his dementia. But of course the cops only care about their own and the well-being of the law-abiding citizens more than often takes a back seat. Mistakes are a part of life, but when it comes to protecting the lives of innocents, the stakes are a bit higher. The cops you'll see here in these cases are about to make some of the biggest mistakes of their lives. Arresting the wrong perm. Help! Stop. Help! Stop. Help! Stop. Help! Stop. They hurt me! They hurt me! Get in the car! Get in the car! Oh, help! One morning in October 2021, 27-year-old Sylvester Hayes, a father of four children, was on his way home to pick up breakfast for his family when all of a sudden he was pulled over by two Dallas cops for failing to signal at a stop sign. Okay, well, what's your information? That's it. That's all. That's all. Damn, I'm finna go get some for my baby something to eat. Okay, like, hey, if you're good, sir, you're good. Unfortunately, due to having a similar name to another suspect the cops were looking for, Hayes found himself in deep trouble tried to explain that he spelled his name Sylvester with a Y, while the cops were looking for someone named Sylvester with an I. This all would have been avoided if the cops had just simply ran his ID through the system first. I'll explain to you. I know, step out. I'll explain everything. No, sir, tell me why. 
Right now you are being detained. Get tased. Come on and step out. 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 Step out. Hold on, hold on, bro. Come on and step out. As the cops forcefully pulled him out of the car, they noticed Hayes was carrying a gun. While it was later confirmed to be legally registered to him, at that moment, it only added fuel to the fire. For what? Oh, yeah. Mom, yeah. Mom, yeah. Mom, Mom, hold on. Y'all, I didn't give y'all some mission. Right right right. right. Bro, 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 the situation escalated as officers tried to arrest Hayes. By law, the cops should have asked for his firearm license rather than diving headfirst into a sumption. Hayes was slammed to the ground while the cops pinned him down. This kind of brutality wasn't just wrong, it's against the law. While other drivers behind him watched the scene unfold, Hayes' pleas fell on deaf ears as the police continued to drag him towards their vehicle. Get in the car! Get in there! Well, yeah, hurt me! Get in the the cops kept at it, dead set on detaining Hayes. But now they were resorting to other means of flexing their authority. Oh, okay. 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 You got cut. Uh, yeah, no, we're not. You're hurting yourself. What are y'all doing if you are hurting yourself? Hey, while he's down, search him. Bro, I don't have a gun in his pocket. Yeah. Bro, I don't have anything. Bro. It's on the floorboard of the front passenger. Bro, I don't have That is not good. It is in my hand. You're getting this because you're acting this way. My this is a hundred percent, and I'm not your. Okay. Bro, yeah, this is me, you bro. acting. You are touching my body way oh, Stop. Stop. Oh, you a prisoner? I know. A yes, ma'am. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all in big trouble. Go for it. I don't care. Y'all in big trouble. You are under arrest. Oh, I'm in big trouble. You guys. While the other cops were busy restraining suspect, another officer who had the sense to double check the details went on and had an actual conversation. I ain't, I complied, I said, what am I, what, what am I, 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 give nobody no attitude or anything, sir. I got four kids that was waiting on me right now. They're hungry. They're hungry. I'm about to go feed them, man. And that's it. That's, I don't know, like, they say I failed the, failed the signal at the, at the stop sign. At the stop sign? I mean, I was wrong for that. Yes. So, but, so that was the reason for contact for the stop, okay. Yes, I understand that. And I was going to, I was going to tell them, like, what am I being detained for? I don't have any warrants. My name is. I mean, I mean, I have warrants maybe for speeding or something like that, but what, not, what not is for, your name? Not for family violence or anything. What What is your name? Sylvester Hayes. Sylvester Hayes. A, a name of a champion. And they and they they they, they doing it because they, but my, I don't know if it's because my skin it. And that, the, the that, it has nothing to do with the skin. But my, look how they held me, so I didn't do it. It was at this point that these cops came to realize just what they have done. Both babies at the house, man. What if they would have happened and they would have. 
Come on, man. I understand. For nothing, though. No. So For here. Nothing. So My car is up today. I'm paying on it. Like, I got a good so, job. I work security. I work security. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be one of y'all, but, like, come on, man. This is how y'all do. This is how y'all do me. I'm, I, I'm working I, to be y'all, bro. I, I, I didn't do anything. My like, name is Sting, I, I, man. I do apologize. Like, if, if you feel like they, they roughed you up or whatever, I do apologize. But anytime that there's a gun involved and, like, traffic stop and be like, hey, so. Give us a second. I'm an intelligent black man, man. I understand. Come on, I just look like this, man. Looks have nothing to do with But I'm just saying, how they rough me up, how they handle me like this, like I'm some, I didn't come at them disrespectful. I didn't like, hey. And that's when these officers were about to receive an absolute earful from their superior. Incidentally, one of the sergeants showed up and gave them a piece of his mind, demanding to know what the absolute heck was going on. I'm like, hey, run that Hyundai. So she runs it. And she was like, oh, let's look at the registered owner or whatever. So she does. She goes to AIS, yeah. and that's a cross-reference, and it pops up red. So she's like, uh, okay. She kind of looks at it, but by that time, we had already lost them. Yeah. We had already gone into, like, the Family Dollar parking lot or whatever. Mm -hmm. The Family Dollar parking lot. You, you know, you got pulled over for this, this, and this. And he was like, well, that's not fair because you were watching me from the other side. I was like, yeah, we were on the other side of the line. Not a good warrant. Well... <laughs> fully investigate like because he was already acting weird so i'm like hey bro like he's already giving him trouble like, i'm like can, can you just step out of the car for stop like, let's go to the back of the car and at that point he was like for what for what and i'm like bro come on man and so that's when reggie pulled up and we tried to get him out of the car and the fight was on okay and it's clear from their demeanor that they know they're in hot water one can't even speak and the other is sweating bullets probably regretting the brutality they just dished out Okay, so he, he, had a a he had a pistol in his, in his mm -hmm. freaking uh, mm -hmm. pocket. So, mm -hmm. And at that point, whenever we were trying, he has not been convicted. Or no felon? No felon. We have like, so we have UCW okay. resisting. Resisting? Okay. Resisting because... Well, that, I don't know if we were going to be able to put the resistance because you okay. can't resist the tension. You can get him out of the car, but I mean, okay. if the fight is on. Yeah, so, so, so. You know, they're in the wrong when they're desperately grasping for some legitimate crime to pin on him. You know, it's kind of standard to establish that first before illegally arresting somebody. Despite this, the cops were still unwilling to admit their mistake. Y'all looked at his name in his picture earlier. They could identify him? Uh, we couldn't see it in the car. So but that's we the have, thing. We have a traffic violation. You got we traffic have a traffic violation, violation. yeah. Because of so, reason for contact. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I wasn't going to be like, oh, it's an investigative yeah, yeah, stop yeah, yeah. and it turns into shit. Like, no. So we were going to get it. So when the pistol come back clean, stolen? Uh, it was clean. Clean, okay. He resisted. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So resisted. we got him on that, right? Yeah. So that they were good. So yeah, so just uh, find out. After being charged with resisting arrest and unlawful possession of a weapon, Hayes, a father of four, spent time in prison before his charges were dismissed over a year later. Despite being an innocent man, this ordeal affected his ability to find work and support his family. But thankfully, this doesn't end on a completely tragic note. On October 23rd, 2023, Hayes has finally filed a lawsuit against the city of Dallas, their PD, and the 10 officers involved. He accused them of physically assaulting, hazing, and mentally scarring him. With the body cam footage as clear evidence that Sylvester's case is looking very strong to win in court. This isn't the only case where officers have mistaken identities. Take this next case, for example, where the cops not only mistake the identity, but also take it up a notch. Did, did you just run for me? Sir Craig? Did, I, did you just run for me? Sir Craig? All right, put your hands behind your back. In November 2022, an innocent man, David Wiggins, was simply traveling home from a Burger King. But before he could get a chance to enjoy his meal, he was stopped by the Marion PD and found himself on the ground, handcuffed. Out of the window! Both hands! You got anybody in there with you? Anybody with you? Take your right hand up in the door. I made sure went out the vehicle. Get on the ground! On the ground! On the ground! On the ground! We can clearly see that the cop was absolutely certain that she had the right tag. 
But when she confirms with 10, four about the vehicle tag, she realizes that she's made the grave mistake of pulling over the wrong car. Right here, you're good. <laughs> That's scary. Oh, I'm sorry. You got almost the same tag, same car. He must have passed you going through, and you turned off this one. Yeah, it must have happened. It, we had everybody coming through. Yeah. You good? Yeah. All right. You have a good one, okay? I'm sorry about that. At that point, the responding officer can't seem to do much but to apologize and release the poor victim. She might have thought this was the end of it, but Wiggins' lawyer had other ideas about how this incident played out. A Burger King when he was mistaken for someone who was involved in a high-speed chase by the Marion Police Department and was pulled over um, and subsequently ordered out of his vehicle onto the ground uh, at gunpoint by an officer with the police department and handcuffed, um, still at gunpoint, obviously uh, giving him um, a really true day. You know, Mr. Wiggins, for three minutes, for 180 seconds, he was in handcuffs on the ground, face down, with a gun drawn to him, with multiple officers around him. He doesn't know, and he didn't do anything wrong. He was flabbergasted by the fact that he was stopped to begin with. It's so easy for anyone to be going about their day normally and have a gun pointed at you as you fear for your life. He questioned the officers as to why he was being stopped. And they insinuated, until backup got there, they insinuated that he was running from them. He's like, I'm, I didn't run, I didn't do anything. What did I do? And so being on the ground for that long, he didn't know if the next breath that he took was gonna be his last. And so it, it really, really traumatized him. He's been in therapy since then, dealing with the, the effects that this has had on his psyche. Um, and his overall being and, and, and his interaction with law enforcement. It happened in November. We took this long to file the lawsuit because we wanted to do our due diligence, something that was not afforded to Mr. Wiggins when the officer stopped him prematurely. And so we wanted to, to investigate and get the video, talk with people in the community, kind of get a sense of what the experiences have been like for our motorists and, and people. After detailing the mental damage that this had caused and the behavior of the cops, even after Wiggins had asked why he was stopped, was unignorable. Therefore, Wiggins and his lawyers have decided to launch a civil lawsuit. There has to be some measure of an accountability. Uh, while there was an apology, Mr. Wiggins and his family did have an, a meeting with the police chief. And they did acknowledge that he should not have been stopped and what happened to him was wrong. Um, but they stopped short of calling for an investigation into it, um, we would have liked them to turn the matter over to the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, which is the state agency that investigates police departments for misconduct. And they did not, right? Um, they, they opted not to, and we believe that a more thorough investigation was necessary here. Wiggins and his team believe that his case might not have been the only incident that citizens of South Carolina are facing. So he launched his lawsuit not only to get justice for what happened to him, but also to shed light on the bodies that govern and check these law enforcement agencies. In order to raise awareness and hold them accountable so that incidents like these can be reduced. If you think that the police need to up their standard protocols before they pull their gun out, let us know down in the comments. Like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next police we explore. This is Detective Holmes. Catch you in the next one.